Today's video, we're going to be dealing with something that is called the Shekinah or the Shekinah glory. And uh, I've, I've been asked to just talk about that subject. The problem is I can't really start with any verse in the Bible. Um, it, it is a Bible related question, but the word Shekinah, it is the tr English transliteration of a Hebrew word, but that particular Hebrew word is not found in the Bible at all. The way a lot of preachers use it is, is uh, to refer to the manifested presence or glory of God. And uh, the, the problem with that is the word Shekinah has a lot of pagan connections. And therefore, even though the preachers that use it might be doing it innocently, um, they, I, I don't know if they're aware of how much confusion they might be causing when somebody begins to dig into that word and find out where it's from, how it's been used. I, I don't know if you would want to continue using it. Uh, if you want to talk about the presence of God being manifested, why not just say that? Why, why say Shekinah? Why bring that word into it? Me personally, um, this is just my opinion. You don't have to agree with this, but I get a little worried when I hear preachers using other languages to bolster their preaching. I understand that from time to time to introduce a Hebrew or a Greek word or a Latin word or just using any other language, if it can add to the understanding of a subject, if it can help the audience you're speaking to wrap their minds and their hearts around that topic better, then by all means, use whatever tools are necessary. But if you're talking to people in English and you want to talk about the presence of God being manifested, to say Shekinah seems, uh, seems to be more for the theatrical effect and you're just trying to impress them with this different word. I, I don't understand the purpose of doing that. Uh, I, I hesitate to dig into all of the history behind the word Shekinah because there, we, we could go down a lot of different bunny trails with this. The word was first really used in, in, in spiritual circles from rabbinic literature, the Talmud, the Kabbalist, which is a mystical faction of, the, of Judaism. They made a big deal of the Shekinah. And the way they used it, it was them trying to suggest that uh, when God manifested his glory, this was somehow the feminine side of God being manifested. And some, some mystics even related it as uh, to, to being the wife of God. I, there's so many strange things that get said about Shekinah. I would be very hesitant to bring it up in a sermon simply because some people might get very confused and God is not the author of confusion. Um, it would be the same as me using the word Baal to refer to something actually good. Um, the word Baal means Lord, but why would I ever refer to Jesus as Baal Jesus? I'm, even the sound of that is atrocious to my ears. It sounds blasphemous. I, I wouldn't uh, try to bring in that pagan word and associate it with God. And, and that's what the Israelites were doing in the Old Testament, by the way, with the name Baal. And God said, I'll take that name out of your mouth. So I'm very hesitant to, to even use that word Shekinah in a, in a proper Christian or biblical setting. Um, I know some preachers use it and they're simply referring to the manifested glory of God. Uh, they might mean well, but I, I would caution people from doing that. If you want to find the presence of God, um, I have a much better term than Shekinah. In Colossians chapter 2, Paul said this in verse number 9, For in Him, that is in Christ, for in Him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. So if you want to get the manifested glory of God, we can see that in Jesus Christ. In 2 Corinthians chapter 4, we have a, another verse similar to this one. It says here in verse number 6, For God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, hath shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. So if you're looking for the manifested glory of God, look no further than the lovely face of the Lord Jesus Christ. You'll find all you need to find about God in Him. 
to go looking for this mystical Shekinah and especially all the nonsense that gets uh, stirred up when people mention that name. I just don't see the necessity of it. Spend your time, rather, uh, seeking the Lord's face, that is, the Lord Jesus Christ. If this video has helped, you can click the like button. If you'd like to follow along with our Bible Q&A blog, you can click subscribe. Feel free to leave a Bible question in the comment section below or visit us on our Facebook page, Bible Baptist Church of Pachestruam. And if you live in town, we'd like to invite you to one of our services, and we hope to see you soon. May God bless and have a great day further.